one project that I've personally been looking at this um, an indie project and it's, it's a massive amongst the Half-Life fan base but they, they released a trailer back in 2009 saying we will have a demo out in a few months the game will be finished by the end of the year and the whole thing collapsed because they had an internal mess up where they just end up cutting corners and losing quality trying to push for it so the, the project's still going but they've decided to commit to a new idea where we don't we we don't want to commit to saying this will be out on this date this will happen by then we'll when we do have the demo finished we'll put dates out on what's happening but we don't want to say oh yeah we'll have a demo out for you on the 14th of August just because we may not necessarily hit it we don't want to disappoint people because as people know with Black Mesa Source everyone's been watching it most people have considered it a dead project because they lost all faith in it after that after they missed that deadline by what three years now because they want to put the time in to make it right so yeah if if you like the valve method of game making we'll we'll release it when it's done and we'll release when it'll be done when we feel that it's the quality where we can put it out and be proud of it we don't want to put it out and go well yeah that bit was good but you know we could have spent a bit more time in this so we rushed that bit or you know the the bugs here and there so, yeah, um, it'll be out when it's out, basically. That's about all we can say. And uh, just to uh, quickly uh, ask a question to all of you, we've been, I've been, at least I've been thinking a lot, should I uh, use, do you, do you guys want to see buildings and resources, or are you happy with the idea that we're going with? Fire Kirby, there will be five upgrades, and each upgrade has three stages. Um, this was actually explained earlier in the video, but I'll tell you again. Uh, you can level up when you kill units, and um, gather experience, level up, upgrades. And uh, for example, Twilight has you know a teleport ability. Um, she also has uh, some kind of ability to. Um, well, really, create a force field, for example, or it's still very uh, in the works with ideas. But uh, yeah, they'll be a lot like Warcraft 3 or Diablo, and um, we're thinking we're not going with, well, not yet, going to build buildings or resources. It, it looks like they're. They like the idea, I, I'm looking at the chat right now, they like the idea of no resolve this, but. As Thalen said, I like there to be capture point building and things, but no collectible resources. The the problem with the way I want to tell the story, and the way that works is I've played games that work like that, Dawn of War, <coughs> and from an overview you have um, I'll try to think of the game the, what what the game type is called, but it's, it's part turn based strategy on the world map. If I'm if if you're playing Soulstorm, for example. Um, it's a turn-based strategy where you pick the adjacent squares to your territory and you invade enemy territories. Then you go into the actual RTS element of it where you you play out a map. And the map is relatively generic. It doesn't have much progression other than the finale maps, which even then are pretty much just work from one end to the other with a couple of story elements in it. Um, the, the thing is we could add capture points, but we'd either have to shoehorn them in or find some fairly plausible way to add them into the story and implement them for example Rainbow Dash landing in Cloudsdale while it's under attack uh, it wouldn't make much sense for it to be looking for capture points in that system I, I think um, uh, wait, please. I think that the concept of uh, you know capture point can't be as you said implemented in the, in the campaign but in multiplayer it may mm. appear in, mo in multiplayer, that it would work because the, the system I have I, I have in mind or um, um, we're working on would work for a single player mission, but for multiplayer it wouldn't really work at all. So multiplayer would be much more non-linear. It would be very open-ended, and it would probably revert a bit more back to a standard RTS, or not all the way, but 
we're, we're still weighing up multiplayer, and that's something we're going to look at after the single player component is done. We don't we don't want really want to start rushing into things or so let's look at multiplayer and single player at the same time. We'll deal with multiplayer, then we'll learn from our experiences with building a single player game and say, you know, when we're doing the multiplayer, we'll do this differently. There'll be there'll be a lot to tweak with multiplayer in terms of game balance as well. For example, boss characters and heroes will need a lot of tweaking. Yeah, we have to. Um, yeah, the story we have in mind um, doesn't quite work with buildings and resources. So, uh, someone mentioned that before. I think it was Wiki. Uh, he said, "Just go with what fits best to our story." And I see a lot of people are agreeing with this. Uh, Storm Wevern is asking, is there a Twitter <coughs> Facebook page for Ponygraph? Well, I will say right now the game has been uh, started, be created two months, well, even one month and a half ago. <coughs> so, for now, there isn't anything like that. We managed to get a forum on before the stream so people could show mm. the ID and we could show the game progress. But in the future, I may create one or. Uh, Th they will surely yeah, we'll, we'll create one we'll right create now. One. We actually haven't <laughs> done that yet. Uh, Bad idea. For right now, um, there isn't. For Coffee Grunt, here's a question from Fire Kirby. How serious are you, or serious silly, are you going for? Will the dialogue be interesting uh, and immersive, or will it be? Uh, will you try to push some funny lines in every once in a while? Well. It de it depends on the tone I'm going for. Some of the levels may be more gloomy, but what I'm ha what I'm considering doing is having in between missions the ability to move around the Ponyville hub, um, so you can interact with characters. For example, characters you might have saved from previous missions, etc. etc. Um, main you can interact with other main six characters or major characters who live in that area. And that will allow us the ability to explore extra dialogue, but a lot of the... Um, I'm, I'm not going to rule out comedy altogether, I'm, I'm going to add it in where it feels appropriate. But th some areas where it may not feel appropriate at all, and some areas where it would be. How many levels are there going to be? Uh, that's as many as we need. The story sounds very big, so we'll have a lot of levels, I suppose. Um, I, I counted up the amount of levels we have. Uh, well, I have planned it's about ten. Um, some may get added, some may get lost. It's just a, it's like a natural selection for the levels. You know, does this advance the story we're telling, um, or is this not telling the story in the way we should? Should we go to a different location? We wanted. I really want to try and cover as much of the place as possible. So there are some places that are considered like Zebraca, but then I thought there isn't really any reason to go there. I couldn't think of a story reason to go there, so that got left to the side. Maybe we can explore it on a side mission or something like that. But um, places that do feature, places like the Everfree, um, Appaloosa and Cloudsdale, as have already been mentioned, in Ponyville. And other places, well, we want to make some unique locations and some locations that will be more familiar to, so we can get to sort of expand what we see of Equestria. Pizzerand, what are your ideas to make the different non-hero units unique? Um, first of all, non-hero units can't upgrade or level up. All they do is carry experience points, which are transferred to the unit that kills it. And, um, for example, we have a changeling unit right now, and his ability will be to fly. Uh, do, like in episode uh, 26 of season 2, he'll be able to do that dive bomb attack. And that's pretty much it, otherwise it's controlled like any other typical RTS unit. What what we're going for, because people are asking about the legs, and um, with the changes in particular, they feature so far in in one episode uh, mission. Um, we're, we're going with the changes to be much more like a hive than um, than what what was shown in the uh, 
ep episode of Canterlot. Mm. So we're going to have the. There are some changelings that are more like drones, <coughs> the standard changelings we saw. And then there are some which are more like this one here, which is more of a soldier unit. And um, so this is this is um, more of a heavyweight sort of one. It's a harder armored. It'll be built more like a beetle in the game, and it'll be able to sort of bulk up in its shell and withstand a lot more punishment than a standard changeling would. So we're 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 like I said, we're looking at canon and integrating it 